Thank you for checking out my channel. Um, the game that I'm playing right now is One Piece Pirate Warriors 4, but it's going to be in the background because I do want to explain my thoughts on the end of One Piece. Um, so, one rule is that all the things I'm going to be explaining will come from the anime, not really the manga. I don't plan on reading the manga. So, if you are not caught up on the subbed anime, then please do not watch this video. But if you are, you should take a listen because everything that I'm going to be explaining will come from the sub anime. Okay, I think that Luffy and Blackbeard are going to meet on the island of Raftail to fight, and their corresponding fleets going to fight against each other, or Blackbeard is going to go to Raftail, beat Luffy there, claim One Piece, and Luffy's going to be sad. Someone's going to talk him out of it. He's going to go to Raftail and um, defeat Blackbeard and claim the title of One Piece for himself. Now, I think that there is another big threat out there, which has been explained in the anime um, in a form of I'm. So I'm is basically a power over the world government. It's like one person who rules over the entire world government. So if you think about it, the Marines are like the police force and the world government is basically the world government. So I think after Luffy beats Blackbeard, if, if, if Luffy and Blackbeard fight for One Piece or Luffy is just gonna dethrone Blackbeard as the Pirate King in the future, Luffy is gonna have to end up facing I'm who rule, basically rules the world. Like she might have a power to destroy the world in the first place. Think about it. Um, Bleach has done this, or well, Bleach has done this at the um, in the uh, manga, where they. I'm not going to tell you too much, but um, there is a person who can basically destroy the world. There's that person. Then there is at the end of Naruto. There's also a person who can destroy the world. So you have the main character going up against this supreme power that is going to destroy the world or take some kind of complete control over the world. So I think Blackbeard's not the biggest threat, but right now Blackbeard is the only known threat because Blackbeard is the only super powerful character that we know of. Because every strong character, if you can look it up, almost every strong character will say that um, this person has this chance of beating Blackbeard. Because Blackbeard has been a warlord, Blackbeard is an emperor of the sea, um, and Luffy does have some beef with Blackbeard, to be honest. Think about it. If it wasn't for Blackbeard, Ace would more than likely still be alive. The world headquarters would have never been attacked. Whitebeard would more than likely still be alive. So Blackbeard has this powerful aura and not just a powerful aura basically everyone especially luffy has a reason not to like this guy so if blackbeard does end up getting the one piece before luffy luffy's gonna up amass so much power because he has been amassing power ever since he's gotten to the new world because of a pirate alliance saga like he's aligned with the samurai the minx the fishmen the totos in total land He's aligned himself with so many pirates, the fire tank pirates temporarily, the heart pirates with Raw. And I think from people's hatred of Blackbeard and their love of Luffy chasing his dream, they're gonna go and join Luffy to fight against Blackbeard and claim that throne for Luffy. But ultimately, I think Luffy's gonna be the one to fight Blackbeard because Blackbeard has almost everything Luffy has. Blackbeard has a captain, Blackbeard. Blackbeard has a right-hand man who's also a swordsman. Blackbeard also has a navigator. I would, I would assume Blackbeard has a healer. Blackbeard has probably a cook. Blackbeard is known to have a sniper. Like, Blackbeard and Luffy both have corresponding uh, traits in each of their crews. So, I think Luffy's crew and Blackbeard's crew are gonna end up fighting for the title of One Piece. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go further into that, 
in another video because I'm going to relate that to the rest of Straw Hat's dreams, but I'm not going to get into that right. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to explain it now. Luffy's dream is to become the Pirate King, right? So he is going to have to fight Blackbeard for the title of Pirate King, or Blackbeard's going to get the title of Pirate King, which Luffy's going to have to take it from him. And whichever way it goes, Luffy is going to achieve his dream to become Pirate King, but it's going to lead up to him facing off against I'm, who is the head of the world government. So that's what I think Luffy's, uh, how Luffy's going to achieve his dream. Then there's the point of Zoro. Zoro is going to face off against the right hand man of well, Blackbeard, who also happens to be a samurai. I don't know his name, but I think since he has the fruit that makes him invisible, I think he's going to kill um, Mihawk take the title of the strongest samurai in the world from Mihawk so Zoro has more of a reason to kill him because Zoro wants to become the world's strongest samurai and he won't just kill this guy because he killed Mihawk but he has to take the strongest title of the he is gonna have to take the, the world's strongest samurai title from this guy now I can't really predict when the other Straw Hats are going to achieve their dreams. Like, um, Usopp. I don't, I don't know when Usopp is going to become the bravest warrior in the sea. I don't know when Brooke is going to meet Laboon. I don't know if... Well, Frankie's will tie into Luffy's dream because if Frankie sees the Sunny go around the world, then if Luffy becomes Pirate King, he would have explored all of the islands in the world, meaning that he would be on the Sunny and Frankie would be on the ship. So therefore, the Sunny would have gone to every island going around the world, which is a Frankie's dream. Now, Chopper's dream goes into um, like further, it's more complicated. So you know that disease in the anime where they said that Roger died from like his incurable disease? Here's what I thought, or here's what I think. So, Roger has a mastery of all hockey ever, but that kind of power takes a toll on his body. So, I think he mainly uses hockey and that hockey made such a big impact on his body that it got that it gave him an incurable it gave him a disease that's incurable and since it's hockey you don't really know what the cure for that is because there's no cure for something that no one knows exists so since hockey is like this really big energy thing it um it's all combined into one person's body then that basically takes a toll or it taxes their body. So I think Chopper is going to have to find a cure for that disease because Luffy is going to probably get that. Like, think about it. There's Armin and Hockey, then there's, uh, the, the, fuck it. There's, um, Armin and Hockey, there's Conqueror's Hockey, then there's, um, Observation Hockey. Now, um, you only hear about these three, but anything else after that, no one really goes into detail with. And since Wano's a closed off country, what are the odds of someone knowing all three types of hockey and going to that island or going to this closed off island of Wano to learn a fourth type of hockey? Like Roger probably mastered all types of hockey and he got that disease because of all that power he wields. So Luffy's gonna end up getting that disease and Chopper's gonna end up finding a cure for it. Now, the last person I'm going to get into is, like, because Sanji's is basically, um, just, it's, it's known. Like, he wants to travel to Raftail where all four seas connect, get the all blue, and cook it. There's no complex way to get there. Now, Robin, okay, here's what I think about Robin. Um, the four road poneglyphs, right, the red ones, they make an X to go to Raftail. But I think they put a specific mark to where a massive Poneglyph is that tells 
what the void century is like the 800 years that um that's just erased from history and at the end of that um 800 years and the world government began and the uh, marines began i'm gonna get into that in another video but um i think robin is gonna go ahead and read that poneglyph she's gonna go to Raftail, read that poneglyph and find out what happened in the void century thus completing everyone's dreams and that's what I think it's going to happen at the end of One Piece. So, I think it's much more complicated than that. I don't know the order in which people are going to achieve their dreams, but I know that's probably what's going to happen at the end of One Piece. So, these are all only my thoughts. I haven't read the manga. So, if you um, want to leave a comment to say what you think, or if you want to give some insight, um, go ahead and do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. And I want to end it by telling you, thank you for checking out my channel. If this video gets enough likes or enough views, I'm going to go ahead and put out another One Piece video on whatever topic I feel like. So thank you for checking out my channel. Um, please check out my other videos and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.